harsh reality. So many. Anybody want to help me do this? So, and then I deleted it immediately. guys it is the morning of a particular day I forget what day it is we are not gonna start making YouTube videos until I know what the date is it's Friday March 10th it is a beautiful day the last four days in California I literally been 85 like yesterday I laid outside and like it was so beautiful so what I want to do now is really want to go for a run I don't think I've ran and gone for a run in like years it's been a long time and I'm not really a runner but it's just so nice out I don't like being cooped up inside there's a puppy. Oh, cute. There's a few. I have puppy fever so bad. So I'm going to take you guys on my run with me and I'll see how it goes. I'll update you guys as I'm running. Yeah, we're going to see. We're going to see how it goes. We're going to try it. We're going to try it. <laughs> reality slash run slash walk mostly <sighs> okay running is hard running is hard I remember specifically when I was a kid like 16 I thought I had to go for runs to be fitness and to lose weight but turns out lifting weights actually does a better job of that than cardio only cardio yes cardio only probably not your best bet when it comes to losing body fat, optimizing your metabolism. So lifting weights, I'll take today as an off day, use it for just cardio only, feel like really good. Aside from how hard that was, but aside from that, we are good. What's up guys, we are in the car, ready to head to San Diego. So it is 12.07 and I'm meeting my friend at 2.30. So pray to God there's no traffic because I will be getting there just on time. But I'm so excited to go to San Diego for the weekend. I'm staying there tonight and to tomorrow. So let's go along for the ride. Okay, we are basically here. Where are my keys? Oh my god, I'm gonna die. I have, oh yeah. I have to pee so bad. It is beautiful out and I'm hungry. So we're getting Panera, getting food. Good, can I get a you pick two? I'm gonna do the roast turkey and caramelized kale panini. And then I'm also going to get, do you have unsweetened iced tea? What kinds do you have? Is it unsweetened or is it? Okay, yeah, I'll have one of those. Got a kale, beet, and citrus salad right there. And then we have a kale turkey panini, which looks amazing. Looks so good. Okay, we are at our location. Hours later, I think we're here. Let's find it. Not look like anyone's in this office. That's not it. So nice out. Uh, coffee. Here we are. It's so cute in here. Dr. Lauren Knoll. Look at this adorable chair. Nice. The cutest office ever. Noel. Changing room here, looks like. This is a dress, by the way, that I have. It's cute. Cute dress. 
how cute. We are here at Shine Natural Medicine. Yes. And this is my friend Lauren. Hello. She's the doctor here. She owns the place. <laughs> she's, yeah. she's actually awesome. Um, we're podcasting today and I'm very excited to have her. She is a doctor of naturopathic medicine. Did I get that right? Yeah. We have a lot, a lot of fun things to talk about that are very helpful to you guys. I'm always like trying to provide you guys value and show you guys different ways to better yourself. That's not just based off of like going to the gym and eating better. There's a lot of other different ways to better yourself. So her and I are going to talk about that today. But first we're going to get, um, I'm getting an IV. <laughs> Vitamins. Lots of vitamins. Um, I don't have any particular symptoms right now. I'm pretty good with energy and stuff like that, but we're just doing a little mixture of different vitamins. And The cool thing about naturopathic medicine, you don't have to be sick to this come in. You know, you can just optimize things. And I love running blood work. I love running labs on people who already feel pretty good, but it's like, okay, maybe I have a family history of something, or maybe every now and then I feel a little tired. So we can just look into stuff, and then we can make things even better. So this is just really accentuating how you already feel, and cool. just, you know, feel even more energy, more calm, probably have better sleep can tonight. We, if, uh, if you do blood work, does it come in today? Or like, would you be able to test it today? No, we could probably do a blood draw today maybe. And then we can, yeah. Yeah, if not, we'll, we'll definitely do some labs and that would be super I was gonna say, cool. that would be really helpful. Yeah, to we see, can go like, all the nutrients, nutrients we do. Whatever. Yeah, and it's cool. amazing what yes. you can learn about your body. Oh, I'm so excited. Yes. That's gonna be great. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> I love, I love this stuff. <laughs> my watch. Oh yeah, <laughs> hashtag fashion. Lauren and I are getting ready to podcast. She gave me alkaline and mineral water in a mason jar. Mm -hmm. She gave me this cute little protein bar that is now all natural, egg whites, almonds, cashews, dates. Mm -hmm. And I have ginkgo clarity, clarity tea. tea in this little brain cute power. <laughs> brain power. <laughs> and we're getting ready to podcast, so. Talking about stress, and we're gonna be talking about how it can affect your fitness journey, but also just how stress can affect your life, and how to how to battle stress, really. So, naturopathic life. Excited for this podcast. Oh my god, I am the clumsiest human on the planet. I forgot my um my microphone stand, so we're using the purse. It's fine. Use what you got. You, you gotta just do, what do you it. Gotta do. All right, everyone, welcome back to another episode of Bucci Radio. I've seen a lot of butts in my career, but you know, it's all from a medical perspective. And, Introduction you know, from Lauren. It's memorable. Yeah, I'm a doctor of naturopathic medicine. Hey, like, this might not be the best choice for me if I can't still focus on my life and other things that are important in my life. Yeah. I was prepping and I couldn't pursue other things that I wanted to, so just, just be aware of that for those that are listening. Um, if you want to step on stage, do it, but be aware that it wasn't that long and it wasn't that extreme, I guess you could say, but it did play a role in my mind and how I looked at myself and how I felt about myself because that not having control and not having that, like you're on prep, you're just so in control and you don't make any mistakes and you don't screw up. And when it's just completely the opposite when, when it comes to binging and you have no control and I still was coaching myself. And then after that, was when like the binging kind of started and stuff. And I was training at Gold's Gym Venice and, and he was one of those like old school, like you have to wear a screen, you have to do a meal plan, you have to take this fat burner and that fat burner. And I was, that kind of actually just like motivated me enough to start prep again. And that was in particular what motivated me to stop binging, I guess, which was interesting. You are an angel, look at your face. What's going on guys? I just got back from San Diego. It is like 11 p.m. I posted on my Instagram, at AmandaBucciFit, if you guys aren't following already. I have to sneeze. I hate when I have to sneeze and it just doesn't come. Anyways, got back from San Diego and I wanted to finish this vlog with a Q&A. It's been a really long time since I did a Q&A, so we're gonna get right into it, people, because there's a lot of questions. I start a bunch of them. We're gonna get into it right now, right now. So many. Anybody want to help me do this? Okay, number one. This is from Tonic Fit 17 
how do you set up a workout plan or should you just do challenges? Guys, challenges that influencers and fitness people that you watch put out are just workout programs made for you, but they're with a group of people instead of just one-on-one -on -one coaching, but it's still just a workout program that people put you through. So a challenge helps you with accountability. A challenge helps you have a group of people that are also like-minded that you can collaborate with. It allows you to answer questions in an easier way, but it is really just coaching and you go through a workout program. So Sassy Brunette Fitness asks, Amanda Bougie Fit, what do you think is the biggest mistake someone can make when trying to grow their social media and online business? I think the biggest mistake someone can make is not doing it for the right reasons and it comes across that way. So a lot of people just aren't doing things for the right reasons and it's just really obvious to a lot of people I think. I think people can see right through that especially with how like saturated things are. You can see who's genuine and you can see who's not. So not doing it for the right reasons, trying to grow your following and stuff, like I think that's like the biggest mistake you can make. Marion Yelly said, hey Yelly, she says, um, have you been, what have you been doing most about your early mornings and have I been enjoying them um, I've been loving getting up in the morning early it makes me feel so happy and productive that I can just get stuff out of the way I usually wake up when I'm on like a normal schedule I try my best to do this um, I try my best to go to bed go to bed by like 10 30 I usually get to bed by 11 11 30 but I'm trying to do it earlier but I usually get up at 6 30 now but previously I was getting up at like 7 30 getting out of bed at like 8 but now I'm like getting up at 6 30 and just getting up and then after that, I uh, read for an hour. So I've been absolutely loving that. I've been getting through a lot of books and I'm just so happy and excited that I kind of just figured it out. Um, another question somebody had was, what books do I recommend? So I'm currently reading, reading um, Code of the Extraordinary Mind. It is amazing. Um, I highly recommend it. I've also been listening to some Audible um, audiobooks. You guys saw that in one of my vlogs going to the Arnold. Um, I was listening to The 4-Hour Workweek by Tim Ferriss. If you guys are interested in doing like audiobooks, like I love actually having a tangible book, but um, I was on a plane and there's definitely plenty of times where audiobooks and podcasts are um, amazing. I do have a podcast and I do recommend that um, you can use Audible if you guys go to the link in the description box. You can get 30 days of a free trial through the link in the description box. All the knowledge. Give it to me. Savinor... Savion or Ori 18. Have you ever had any teeth pulled before? Random I know lol. Yes, I have it sucked and it hurt and I have to get a wisdom tooth out like my wisdom tooth back here is like going in this direction Which is so <laughs> we have to do that so. What's been the most embarrassing posts on your social media like a typo accidental post tagged photo, etc. Um, I honestly make typos in my shit so often. Like I constantly just like making Instagram captions and tweets and I don't proofread them and then people com comment like below and like say that I completely messed something up. So that's good. I do that pretty often, which if you ever catch it, thank you, I noticed and then I delete it immediately. <laughs> Um, what's my biggest insecurity and how do I get over it? I feel like a lot of women striving for perfection and many looking at you as ultimate goals. It's nice to see every other woman has insecurities. AF chick 1989. I have plenty of insecurities, guys. I've talked about them many times. Um, I am a person that's overall genuinely quite confident in herself, how she looks and how I act and how, um, who, what kind of person that I am. But I wasn't always like that way and I'm not always like that way 100% of the time. Um, Currently like body insecurities, I guess I'm just a little bit like when it comes to like photos and photo shoots I'm just like, eh, like hide my arms and like um, My like legs are really big so like I'm trying to just like embrace them and stuff and like I do love having curves But sometimes it's just like I don't know. It's still something that I'm like getting used to and always people constantly have insecurities guys and it's not just the people that uh, don't have like your ideal body even those people that have the ideal body constantly constantly have insecurities and it's not uh, it's just we're all human and we always just think focus on the things that we don't like most about ourselves too too often and we don't focus on the things that we do love about ourselves often enough so things that I love about myself um, I love my hair right now it looks great um, I love that I'm able to put on muscle easily I love that I like my smile um, I like my eyelashes, they're great. I don't know why I ever got eyelash extensions because I have awesome eyelashes. Yeah, those are things I love about myself. <laughs> you say you're really working towards keeping a fast metabolism when you're older, how will you do that? So if I were to go back and never compete, I probably would. 
only because um, when you compete and you diet and you go through extreme dieting cycles, your metabolism gets slower and slower. And I've only learned that as I've continued to compete. And now that I've done eight shows, my metabolism, um, it just kind of got driven into the ground a little bit. So I have to work really hard to build it back up. But some of you guys have never competed before. Many of you guys, most of you guys have never competed before. So you can really utilize that to your advantage by actually building up your calories. Although you're not super lean or anything like that, and you feel like building your calories is kind of contraindicated to what you want. You want to lose the weight. Um, but building up your metabolism, making sure that like you're adding calories in in order for your body to run on higher calories without gaining fat, you have to focus on, you have to like actually track your calories and you have to make sure you, you know exactly what you're eating so you can slowly add and then that's optimizing your metabolism. Doing that plus building muscle plus training plus adding in plyometric and like high intensity work into your training and adding some cardio in, like all that stuff can optimize your metabolism. So that's my plan at this point. I'll talk to y'all about my plans later. <laughs> I have a lot of them. Making a specific video about that actually. How do you feel on being in a long distance relationship? I got a lot of Brian questions about our relationship and uh, what we're planning on because we're so long distance and we do have plans. I literally got so many good ones. Like I liked all the ones that I was gonna answer. So if yours was one of those, I'm definitely answering it in the next in the next video. So I'm just gonna make a dedicated Q&A video for the next one. We're gonna talk about what my plans are with Brian. We're gonna talk about what my fitness plans are. We're gonna talk about what my business plans are. I have a lot of like, honestly, I've made so many realizations in San Diego this weekend, meeting so many amazing people and talking with so many people and I'm just like so excited and happy. But this video is getting a little bit long and I wanna cut it off here. I have a lot of, lot of questions. We're gonna finish the rest of these questions in the next video. So if you guys uh, aren't subscribed already, make sure you click that subscribe button.